Violence in Israel showing absolutely no sign of subsiding. An Israeli soldier stabbed by a Palestinian in the West Bank just north of Jerusalem. That just happened, but it's a piling at higher and deeper situation. Over in Moscow, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad making a surprise visit to his chief sponsor, Vladimir Putin. First time Assad has left his own country since 2011. Will it be John Kerry to the rescue? The Secretary of State will sit down with the Middle East leaders to try to keep tensions from reaching a boiling point. Is he too late? Joining us now, the man who represented Israel at the forefront of these tensions, Dan Gillerman, is the former Israel ambassador to the UN and now a Fox News contributor. You just flew in from Israel. What's it like on the ground there? It's very uneasy and it's very worrying on the ground. You know, when you send your children to school or your grandchildren to kindergarten and you worry whether they'll make it back when people are worried about going to a mall or sitting in a restaurant or just buying a coke somewhere it's it's a horrible situation and and it's a horrible situation because you have these Palestinian youth who are raised by textbooks which advocate killing Israelis and shedding their blood well, there are and videos, imams uh, I mean, inciting them there are videos to do it. of little children holding kitchen knives now saying I would like to kill a Jew. So that is a cultural issue that we can't begin in America or in Israel to understand. Okay, so so can John Kerry jump in and fix the situation? What are his chances at least of tamping down the violence for the moment? Well, I'm sure John Kerry wants to do the right thing and I, I'm sure he cares, but I think his chances are very slim. They're very slim because the United States unfortunately has lost much of its influence in, in the region. Its friends feel they cannot rely on it. Its enemies feel they can get away with murder. Putin is reasserting Russian dominance over the Middle East and increasing his involvement in the Middle East. And therefore, however much Kerry wants to do something about it, I'm very doubtful whether he'll succeed. Let me ask you what may be an uncomfortable question. With whom is Prime Minister Netanyahu closer? Putin or Barack Obama? That's a very uncomfortable question, but uh, I hope that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu and President Obama will be able to, you know, regain the confidence which those two leaders must have in each other when they meet at the beginning of November. But I know that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu has a very, very close relationship with President Putin and had a very good meeting. That's a big and statement. An understanding and this at a time where Putin is helping Bashar Assad of Syria. Syria is very close to the Golan Heights, which is right there at Israel's border. What if this Palestinian violence from the Gaza Strip and what's happening on the West Bank spill to the Golan Heights? Who's Syria going to help then? Not you guys. Well, you know, Syria is in deep trouble, and I think Bashar al-Assad has far greater worries than uh, than what to do about Israel, but he knows that if he as much as touches Israel, uh, he'll really be finished. And we know in the past, even when Israel ostensibly, according to foreign reports, uh, you know, bombed a nuclear reactor in Syria or did certain things there, Bashar al-Assad did not react because he knows that if he as much as starts anything with Israel, he'll be doomed and he'll be finished. But uh, Syria is uh, in a very, very difficult situation, but so is the whole of the Middle East. And uh, I think that this is, this is time really for us to try and look for a regional settlement with the, Arab, with the Saudis, with the Gulf states, maybe under the leadership of President Sisi. But to do that, you also need a strong America who, is, who the region has great trust in to work together to try and lower the flames and bring about a far better situation in our region. It's possible. It's not easy. Ambassador Gillerman with a sobering, sobering uh, statement here. Thank you very much. We appreciate you coming in to speak Thank with you. us exclusively. It's good to be with you. We